loaded up, took our supplies out, uh, and started the trip. Sights and smells changed from just a typical third world city to more of the local flavor, and, and it's just dirtier, it seems. Poor little kids walking down the road without parents anywhere around. It just, it seems like a very different place once you start making that trek. This is our first stop along the way. Um, uh, we're just here to greet the people as we come in. We've just come off the, the main road here. So we've had some tea and uh, we've played with the children, just kind of trying to learn the language, trying to practice before we get into the part of the village where Forest Hill has adopted. Uh, along the way we stopped at a village called Babak and we picked up Antoine who's the MIS church planner. We got to get out and meet him and a guy named Michelle who's doing some literacy training in our village. We went and played with Antoine's kids and, and kind of sat in his compound for a little bit as almost a break. In retrospect, I'm glad that I got off the bus and interacted a little bit at the very first village because it was sort of a good introduction. I will tend to, if there's a chance to kind of just experience something, just go and do it to see what the unknown is like. I mean, they're people, they're human beings. So I knew that they're at that base fundamental level. They walk, they talk, just like me. Looks like everybody's starting to get a good feel for it and give out some stickers and just kind of, I guess, in an American way, get our feet wet. Everybody's um, been very welcoming. For me, it was almost a homecoming of sorts because I got to see some of the people I met last year. Uh, Antoine's family is great. Last year, about a month before we got there, he had a five-year-old daughter that had died, and um, I'm still amazed to see his family and, th and think about just how normal death is in that environment. I mean, he was upset last year, but way less than what I would, would be, I think, if I had lost my four-year-old. So uh, it was a fun time to be able to play with his other kids again. And we just kind of sat down on a couple of benches with them around their mats and just hung out and I just kind of sat there and there was still a connection to reality because Jeff sitting across from me and Paul sitting across from me Jason sitting next to me but save those guys if I'd been in there by myself I would have felt like I was on a movie set I would have felt like I was not really there and that's the first time now that that our team is understanding oh this is village life their houses are made out of grass it's just dirt everywhere. There's animals walking around with the kids and the kids are pretty dirty. And um, yeah, this is what we're going into. Getting off the bus, I just jumped right into it and I just wanted to reach out and touch as many people as I could. And I didn't stop to think about it. It was just, okay, we're here. Make the most of every moment. 